Okay, now uh, my goal is for you to be able to look at this problem and write f minus two that quickly. That's how soon, um, soon, that is how fast you should be able to do a problem like this. Now I know it's fractions and I know you're just learning, so I don't want to rush you into that. But I want you to be able to see that you know fractions, we got to get over our kind of fear of fractions and just look at it. So I'm going to kind of show you my thinking process that I was able to do very quickly to do this problem. Um, so hopefully you can start seeing fractions like this. So the main important thing, I need to just apply distributive property, which states I'm going to multiply 1 fourth times both of these terms. So I have 1 fourth times 4f, and then times a positive 1 fourth times a negative 8. Right? Now, the thing is, I when multiplying a fraction times a whole number, what I can do is I can change both my whole numbers to fractions. So I can write this as 1 fourth times 4 over 1 f plus 1 fourth minus or times negative 8. Let's put this in parentheses. Eh, yeah. Let's put this in parentheses too. Over 1. Okay? So now you can see that now I have a fraction times a fraction. When we multiply fraction times fractions, remember, we just take our numerators, multiply across, and our denominators and multiply across. So 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4f plus, and it doesn't matter where your negative sign is going to go. You could use top, bottom, and you can just realize that it's just going to be a negative fraction. A positive times a negative is going to produce a negative fraction. And then I have 8 over 4. So now, simplifying this, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 1f, one minus 8 divided by 4 is 2. We don't need to write 1 times f, we can just write f minus 2. So there is the very long way, and hopefully throughout practice, you'll be able to go from here to here very quickly. So um, there is a good description of how to multiply distributive property with a fraction.